Welcome back to Vampire Survivors and Ruffy had a great idea that we'll do today. Uh, no experience says that is bad. Let's go for Magic Wand. We'll play the no movement challenge on every single map in the game using Pepino. I did a- oh perfect. I did a vote recently where I asked you guys which map do you want to see the most and it was Capella Magna. Uh, these are all bad, let's just roll. I have some banished. The- ooh, garlic. Garlic and soul eater? <laughs> sure, let's just do it. Why not? That kind of makes the character pointless, you know? Because you already have something that protects you. Uh, but sure, empty tomb, beautiful. And yeah, I think that's a great idea, so we'll do that. Empty Tome, nice one. Now, the reason why I always play on Library is because I know the map very well. I know what it requires to win. Do we even need Laurel? Mm, let, let's try it without it first, okay? We're also going for Wicked Season, which is kind of a crazy arcana, so let's just see where this leads. Maybe uh, we can do it even, you know, with the bonus curse here. That would be insane. Uh, there we have more Empty Tome, very nice. Biggest concern, as usual, is obviously the bosses. So I would like to have something that can just take care of the bosses. That would be great. And there's more Magic Wand, beautiful. If you've never played one of these challenges, the difficult part is you can't kill the enemies too far away because if you don't gather the experience, then eventually there's so much experience on the floor that it accumulates all in one gem and you don't get experience anymore. That means game over because you can't level up and you can't deal with the bosses. Next up, of course, you'll face bosses that will just walk in and kill you, especially knockback immune ones. And uh, we can't gamble on getting evolutions because that means a boss has to walk on top of us and the odds of that are incredibly unlikely, like that the boss is on top of us and dies on top of us as you can see. Yeah, very unlikely. Uh, more Empty Tome, beautiful. In fact, I can just max out the Magic Wand in case a boss ever gets on us, for whatever reason that would happen, but hey, it could happen. Then we can evolve the Magic Wand into the Holy Wand and have a Gatling Gun. Um, the victory sword is honestly amazing. Sure, let's just go for it, why not? We also have limit break, this is where the wicked season arcana will be so useful because we get more experience. There's a track up, nice one. But yeah, the main reason I play on the library is I know the library really well, I know what I need to win there, so... You know, it makes sense to play there. However, it's also kind of boring. I never really considered going to another map to do this on the no movement challenges, so today we're doing it. Capella is a little bit weird, generates four explosions, amount and duration affected damage. Ooh. Should we just go for Pomerola? Wait, but we can't even evolve because we already have Soul Eater. Yeah, so that's pointless. No, no, no. Let's keep going. I want to have other weapons. If you enjoyed the video, then please consider subscribing and giving the video a like so we can reach our goal of 100,000 subscribers. Now one slot we should probably keep is for Pentagram, because if we can't get experience anymore, like let's say the magic wand starts killing the enemies too far away, even if it's just one gem every 10 seconds, well that would actually be fine. But you know, if it's a little bit more than that, then we will not get the experience. Wait, how far away do we kill enemies? I, I mean, gather the experience, do you see that? Here. Like it was over there. Wait, what? What is our pickup range right now? Let's take a look at it. Three on Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, well, that is a lot. Uh, sure. Uh, should we get armor? <laughs> uh, I kind of want to roll. Let's look for something better. Let's go for garlic. I would like to kind of just get forced into the stuff instead of choosing it on my own. Oh, uh, there's more garlic. Beautiful. I don't even know what I'm looking for, really. Maybe Toruna's box would be nice. Revival would be nice. The first attempt here, I don't take it all too seriously, but if we win this one, then uh, yeah, maybe we have to change something in the future difficulty-wise. I'm not even sure what. Oh, candy box. Uh, sure. So what weapon would I want to choose if I could choose any weapon? Because we can choose any weapon. Hmm. Oh, should we go for Greatest Jubilee? Oh, yes. If we go for Greatest Jubilee, we don't need Pentagram. Because it can give us vacuums, and then we go for Candle Labrador, beautiful. Yeah, now we can kill the enemies anywhere as well, right? As long as it goes off, we are good. So I'm still sick. Y you might notice my, my voice is still a little bit weird. Night Sword Strikes, hmm, that could be good. Might Steal Hearts, that means it heals me. You know what? 
Let's just do that. We have the double sword, we have the double garlic, and we have the magic wand, and we have the firework. That sounds perfect to me. I don't want anything here. We'll go for Toruna and then maybe Duplicator. Oh, 100% bonus curse. Yeah, let's do that. Why not? And uh, there's more victory sword. In fact, we can evolve the victory sword and get the evolution. Uh, <laughs> you know, if a boss walks on top of us. Uh, yeah, no, I like that. Let's do that. And there is Ken Lapador, more area. I think we are fine for quite some time here because we have a decent amount of knockback. I'm a little bit more concerned once we get to the tougher bosses that just walk through that don't take knockback really. I don't know if they can even do something, but I would expect so. Yeah, especially with our curse growing. Look at this, 72%. And of course, we'll take the bonus 100% curse from Toruna. I want to limit test a little bit because I do know the character is really strong. But how strong? But yeah, as you can see, even when we kill enemies super far away, we still get all of their stuff. And as long as we max out Greatest Jubilee, I think we will be fine. Or maybe... Oh. If we max it out, we get the special effect at the bottom. And yeah, look at this. We don't get the experience. Oh, that could be a problem. Um, okay, the freezes are also kind of annoying. Maybe I should have banished them. But I didn't expect that I would go for Greatest Jubilee. Oh, we got a Gold Fever. <laughs> I mean... At the same time, the freezes are nice, because they'll make it easier to get through some of the tougher waves, you know, when a boss is about to kill me, because we don't have Teragisu, which is something I usually take alongside Laurel, so you survive for a very long time, even if someone beats you down, and uh, this time it will just be all risks and gambles, and it could be that there's just a wave that kills us, and keep in mind I, I took garlic, okay. <laughs> Not the best killer weapon, especially when you already have the Soul Eater, so yeah... Uh, how is this such a wild party? We're just standing here doing nothing. Man, this character is amazing, isn't it? Oh, oh, we got the bonus 100% curse. It's maxed out. That also means we can evolve Victory Sword if we pick up a chest. I, uh, at 25 minutes, the boss doesn't take knockback as far as I know. That means the boss will get on top of us and it will be difficult because we have to kill the boss before he kills us. Twice. Because, uh, how many? Yeah, we have only one revival, sadly. Uh, but yeah, this will be the difficult part. However, once the boss is on top of us and we kill him, we'll get a chest. Okay, we have a little bit of a problem right now. You may notice I'm not getting that much experience. Like, it's not nothing. But do you see the amount of experience on the top right? Yeah, this may max out very soon. Ooh, we are getting barely an experience. Uh, can you not hit me? Please? Guys? Ouch. Okay... Maybe Pepino is a little bit too overpowered for this challenge, but we are only 8 minutes in, so I shouldn't talk too much. Really? Okay, now we even got bonus luck. G uh, vacuum! Vacuum! Oh my god, yes, 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 yes. Okay, now we go bonkers. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. And we are in limit break territory. Uh, let's go for a mount there. I don't even know if that does something. And the rest is just random always. <laughs> That wasn't even on the growth doubling, and we just got like 40 level ups there. Now you give me a double vacuum, are you kidding me? Like, this is just, this is what the weapon is doing, okay? First we don't get it at all, then it's like, oh yeah, yeah, keep crying, here, have a triple vacuum, and now we don't get it anymore because it just gave us a triple vacuum. No, no, don't do that, that's unfair, stop hitting me, stop hitting me. Okay, more luck, more luck means it triggers more frequently, perfect. Oh, that is so beautiful. Come on, keep going, Jamona. I'm not getting concerned that I take more and more damage whenever curse happens. You're getting concerned. <laughs> not about this wave here. Uh, just wait until we get one of the more difficult waves where they deal way more damage. And I don't have armor, like bonus armor. So, uh, yeah, this could get a little bit spicy. And by a little bit, I mean a lot bit. Okay. Oh, minute 11. That means we have an arcana chest somewhere. Uh, where is it? There. Yeah, it's at the bottom, there's no way we get this. Maybe we shoot it out far enough that it comes up from the top. Oh, with the curse, it could actually happen that it, like, gets shot out. Uh, where is it? Is it already dead? I don't see a purple chest anywhere. They're over there. No, don't attack it. No! Oh! oh. But did you see the damage numbers there? Dude, we have a powerful build going. Okay, I gotta bump up the music a little bit. I you can see the music is already bumped up, but the game is just so loud. Uh, the music is amazing, though. Is it always like this here? I don't remember this as the Capella music, and it's so funky, it's so... Music is one thing in this game that I absolutely love. I mean, there's a lot of love about this game, but music, especially, is so... 
Ah, energizing, you know. It makes so much fun to listen to it on repeat. You don't even notice that it's on repeat. And the limit break sets are coming through, by the way. Look at this. Yep, a lot of limit breaks. The magic wand especially has a lot, so that will hurt once it evolves. But again, I rather want to have the holy wand. And, uh, yeah, I keep talking about evolving, but <laughs> I don't think we'll ever evolve something. Even at 25 minutes, while we do have a chance, a very good chance, to evolve there, if the boss doesn't take knockback, which I'm pretty sure about, it still means the boss has to die on top of us. Like, if he... Where's my cursor? There. Like, if he wiggles around, attacking us, and he dies on the side, we don't get the chest. Chests land at the feet of a boss, so if he's below us, then we will never get it. If he's on top of us, we'll always get it. Uh, this is like the farming wave on the stage. The enemies, they barely take any knockback. Well, actually, they do take a lot of knockback. Look at this, when the magic wand hits them. Oh. But they die like flies, and you get so much experience here. I mean, look at our level. We are level 174 without moving. That means we can't optimize when we pick up the experience, right? And still, we are about to hit level 200 at 15 minutes. Oh, imagine getting a vacuum now. Imagine getting... Okay, don't give me a vacuum now. That would be too late. Okay, wait. Okay, don't don't trigger it now and give it to me. The luck is doubled. That is kind of... It's actually, yeah, counterproductive, right? When the luck gets doubled, it's most likely to spawn something, which means the highest chance to get a vacuum, but we want it on the grove. Ah, but then again, the counter option would have been pentagram, which erases the experience, so we don't get anything anymore. I think that's kind of pointless to do. Well, it's not pointless. It's one way to keep going, but it's pointless in comparison to the firework. I have to be so careful when I use the mouse that I don't accidentally click and move. Um, but so far, we are still doing good. We don't have any mass killer weapons except for the... Uh, here, the fireworks, but look at that damage, okay? This is nothing. Oh, I don't feel good. Oh, I don't feel good. Oh, the curse will be so painful. And look at the damage that this one dude just did to me with a single bump. Okay, okay. Oh, wow. Okay, guys. Hey, calm down. Hey, calm down. Hey, hey, chill. Bruno. Hey, <laughs> don't. Ouch. <laughs> the issue is, if we don't get the chickens to heal up again, then in the next curse, we already start with little HP, okay? So, can, can I please get a chicken, please? Like, thank you. Oh. We didn't get anything. Okay, there we go. Nice. Beautiful. We didn't get the experience. That is okay. And I think... Um, well, we are still collecting experience. Okay, that's good. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, I started with Wicked Season. This is not what you take in no movement challenges if you want to win. But it's a lot of fun. Like, you take something like Awake or... Oh, we could have taken Mad Groove, of course. That it gets old experience around us. And we just, with our pickup range, get it. Uh... That may be... <gasps> you are MVP, Mr. Fireworks. Oh, you are amazing. I love you. That was really good. But uh, we have 12 more minutes to go through. Yeah. Oh, no. I keep getting hit. Yeah, I'm not feeling all too good about this. I, I need the chicken, please. Come on. Okay, there was chicken. Nice, nice. And a vacuum. We don't get that many levels anymore, even though we get a lot of kills, but it's just that we we collect a majority of it already. Oh, it's really laggy. Here, I'll click inside again. There we go. Okay. Uh, oh, these boys are big. Oh, these boys are really big. Oh, well, we kind of deal with them, but there was a rosary, so... Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> perfect timing on the freeze. I mean... That's not how I wanted to win this, but if we can just keep doing this, that would be insane. That would be amazing. Um, ouch. Yeah. To be honest, if we can manage to do this, this would be a whole new way how I won one of these movement challenges, just by freezing the enemies. <laughs> stop it, stop it, stop it. No, 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 it's enough, it's enough. It's okay, I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson. No, 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 Hmm. Oh, look at this. This time I have the bubblies. Okay, that could be interesting. Yeah, they just spawn around me, so I always get them. We also have center water. Yes, I'm going for a completely different build. I just want to see what we can really do and what works. And the main reason why I didn't do what I do now in the last run is I underestimated how much pickup range we will have. And um, yeah, with, with this pickup range, we can just go bonkers, like like super bonkers. Oh my god, do we want to have the cats? <laughs> Let's do it. I like the idea. And then we'll go for the firework that they eat more chickens and do more stuff. Uh, what are you? Actually, it's just eight damage affected by difference between curse and luck. Oh! 
you know what? So that's like a mini garlic, but it's actually very powerful and we have so many balls flying around. I like that. Like we have the little balls over here from the, 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 I don't even know what it's called, the Four Seasons, I think. Yeah, that is an interesting combination. Okay. <laughs> Greatest Jubilee. Oh, wow. And there's Duplicator. Now we are maxed out. I would say we see each other at 20 minutes again. That's where I died. Unless something super amazing happens that I want to show you. And um, yeah, until then. Or maybe I should do a quick check-in from time to time, because we have different weapons, right? That you can see how they evolve. How about we do this at all the 5 minute marks? So 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and then finally again at 20 minutes. Wait, what? Huh? Oh. Uh, I, I didn't even notice that. We, we have Labora. Uh, okay. <laughs> huh? What just happened? We could have even gotten a double evolution, I think. I think the chest multi evolves. I'm not too sure if it actually does. Um, okay, but uh, yeah, let's max out. Okay, it's maxed out. This is maxed out. This is maxed out. We can evolve this if we get another chest. How did that even happen? What? I mean, okay, now we have a super strong killer weapon. To be fair, it does have a lot of speed, as you can see. So it's not really on top of me, but... Th that is amazing. Yeah, I guess that happens if you don't have a lot of knockback, which is kind of also a problem. Look at our HP. Like, that was the weakest boss in the game. Well, the second weakest. And that's how much damage we took. So, I, I, I need more, please. Oh, there's another boss. Oh, wow. Wait, how okay, the boss got wiped super quickly. So, we can't really expect that we will get an evolution. I think it depends how the cats attack and how our weapons are doing in that moment. It's... Uh, a little bit of a tough thing because the cats will just get stronger and stronger and stronger and now that we have Labora, I think the bosses will struggle to get to me. However, if Curse is active, like if it's doubled, okay, can I just get experience please? Like, I'm not leveling up anymore for a while now. But yeah, when the Curse is doubled, while a boss spawns, then the boss will just charge at us and maybe that will be enough to, to get them. You know the chest? Are the cats still scratching me? Uh, yeah, it looks like it because there's no enemy around me and I still take damage. Okay, I don't like that. Oh! Yeah! There was a boss on top of me! Oh, that's so bad though. That took so long to kill him. Panther chest! Is that helpful? I think... Yeah, that's actually good. So we have good eye shuffle now. Um, Big? Really big? But doesn't protect me. Did I mess it up again? No, I didn't mess it up, right? We are fine. We are happy. Kinder happy hippo, please. Oh no, I need chickens. Oh my god, the growth is here. Come on, give me a vacuum now, please. Please, just... What is wrong with you? I'm dying. Help. Why do I have this firework? It does nothing. It's so useless. Isn't it maxed out? Oh, it's level 4. Okay, that could explain it. Okay, there is another chance. We are 10 minutes now, this is what it looks like, not a lot has changed. At 11 minutes, there will be the Arcana. And if the Arcana bat, or whatever the boss, it, it's the eye, right? If it manages to walk on top of me, we get an Arcana, and I could take Mad Groove to always pull in everything at latest two minutes in. And I think I will do that. The sad part is, we wouldn't need that if we just had more levels in the fireworks, but I was a little bit lazy, I guess. I went for the weapons that can evolve first. So, yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Well, are you ready? 11 minutes. I don't see the eye. They are frozen right now, but this is fine. Can the cats stop fighting for a moment, please, so the boss can actually walk in? Wait, the boss will have curse now. Uh, oh, down there. Yeah, no, never mind. Like, no, no vacuum! What is wrong with you? I could have banished the freezes, but I think they're actually beneficial to us. But, like, come on. Imagine we win this locked out of leveling up at level 56. <laughs> That would be kind of hilarious. <gasps> Vacuum! Oh my god. It's, yeah, it's on luck, but it's still fine. And I will obviously go... Yeah, there's another vacuum now. It always does that. Yeah, we go for this, and then we go for, I guess, the cats, and then this, and then we go for... Random always? Random always. Nice. So we were at 56. How many level ups will we get? Um... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, almost 100 level ups. I mean, it does make sense, right? That was quite some time. But I think we are back in the game. And now the party begins. 
We can't see that much because of the cats. I wish there was a transparency option that you could tune that down. Like, please, it has been a very long time that this was requested. People even modded it in. Just steal the code and put it in. Oh, we are doing a lot better than before. Look at this. We are about to reach level 200. We just got a magnet and now we are pulling in experience like crazy because this is a farm wave. Oh my god, level 195. Ah, uh, it looks like, yeah, they die too far away and they are frozen. Oh, we got a ma vacuum, right? I think, if I'm not mistaken. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm really wondering, where is the 108 botcher balls? Like, they are not these, right? That are circling us right now. They are going around like crazy usually, go... Where are they? Are the cats just covering them up? But I don't see a single one appearing anywhere. But we don't have a lot of area, so they may all be in the center here and covered up. Like, do I see a random round ball somewhere appearing? Um, it's really hard to tell. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, well. Oh, more experience, thank you. That was beautiful, 230. Nice level. And I think it's safe to say we will never ever get a chest again because the cats will kill all the bosses. Maybe with the exception of one of the late bosses because um, they, they are quite powerful. Like they are really powerful. So I think it's time that we tune back in again. I know it's not 20 minutes yet, but uh, look at this comparison compared to the last run. A comparison compared, yeah, good job, Dex. <laughs> um, but isn't this insane? And we get so many level ups, that also means we get more luck. The Wicked Season gives us 1% luck every two levels. And that means our, here, the explosions, they trigger more frequently and give us items. Um, but yeah, I, I think we managed to get a quite insane build. Wow. Uh, it still doesn't mean all too much for the bosses in the future, the tough bosses. Like, do you see how right now we don't have a lot of Gatia Mario on the top left, so if the boss walks in there and charges at me, we only have one revival. And if that revival is gone, we die very quickly, and some of the enemies later on of the waves, I think they are incredibly tough. So, let's hope for the best, but there's 20 minutes. This is where we died, I think, right? Yeah, this is the wave where we died. So, how are we doing? Mm, I would say we're doing amazingly well. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, they can't do anything. Uh, we are 21 minutes, by the way. There's the Arcana bottom left. Didn't get it, but this was kind of expected. Our cats are dealing with this. Is our cats actually the main damage? Like, I would say so, but a lot of the enemies are dying to... Would I shuffle, right? Maybe? Possibly? I love that we don't have a lot of knockback. Like, the enemies are walking in and actually dying. We are not moving, and we have 127,000 kills right now. That is more than some people manage to do by moving around and being able to walk into the enemies. I mean, I guess it also works to just have a ton of power and kill all the enemies. <laughs> uh, this is definitely working. Though, okay, we got really lucky. We got two chests, and both chests were actually evolutions, and those were the only two chests that we got, right? So, like, that was really lucky. If we would have gotten the chest earlier, before we got the center water maxed out, well, then again, it could have been that, like, getting the evolutions actually caused the bosses to not die close to us, because we have so much power around us. I don't know, but I think naturally the cats were just so strong that nothing, like, no boss can get to me. Uh, yeah, I always say that famous last words and then a boss comes in. <laughs> uh, let's hope not. 24 minutes. Um... Uh, okay, they get in very far. This is a little bit concerning. We just got a vacuum on the growth doubling, but yeah, we could like old experience either way, it doesn't matter. Um, how did they manage to get in so far? That was without curse. Okay. I mean, we are kind of safe, but once we start getting bonked, I'm really concerned about the boss then, you know? That's what's in my mind. And 24, 30. We won't have curse for the boss at 25 minutes. That's very good. And it's the, the tree, tree, the thing that whirls around its arms. I think that's a difficult boss, right? Um, hopefully not. Oh, or was it a dragon? Wasn't there a dragon these nuts? <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> no, but wasn't it a dragon? Oh, no, 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 no. Dragon was the, the other one. I'm pretty sure. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where's the boss? I don't see it. It may have already died up here. Yeah, I, I don't know. Well, we are hitting the last four minutes. So far, still looking very good. Level 350. <laughs> Isn't this beautiful? Isn't this insane? Without moving at all? 
Well, that was a great idea to go to another map than just always the library. Um, yeah, okay. I mean, it, these are... These are the different versions, the evil versions of all the characters. Tough, but manageable. I think 29 are the Reaper trainees, and they could be a problem, but I don't expect them to be a problem, because cats, okay? Maybe I need to banish the cats, they are a little bit too powerful. Maybe? F famous last words? No? Hopefully not? Okay. Ooh, 27 minutes, a new wave is incoming, what are these? Yeah, these are the mini-boss versions, right, of the 25-minute boss. Okay. Um, oh. Oh, what is going on here? It's just a dying animation, right, that looks like they get in so far, because some of these sparks actually hit me. Uh-oh. Um, oh no. But, right? Yeah, oh, but the damage numbers also get in far. Oh, this is not great. Ah, like if this was library, I could tell you, yeah, 28 minutes is, you know, it's easy and 29 minutes will be the tough one here. I, I don't know what to expect, like if this is maybe even the toughest way for us here, what we're doing, and then it will be easier or it will be a ton harder, but I do expect that the next waves will be harder. Doesn't mean hard, but harder. Okay. No, but we managed to deal with them, that's good. That probably killed the bitrate on YouTube so hard with the particle effects. Oh, five seconds, come on. I want to end this here. I want to win. Come on. There are demons and uh, knights. <gasps> uh, where are my cats? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh, stop that, please. Oh no, don't hit me. Oh, that is so evil. What is. Where did. Huh? Okay, okay, now I can laugh at everyone who said, oh, Dex is just playing it up for the hype. No, this is a, this is a real fear. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, they are so tanky. Um, okay. Can, can we just keep freezing them? The good thing is they're frozen right now, and for a part of the curse, they will be frozen. Um, I, I think I saw brown balls flying around, by the way. Mm. Okay, keep healing me, please. I need the chickens. Ooh, wow, okay. <laughs> that is spicier than I thought it would be. Oh my god. Uh, level 400, by the way. Easy peasy level 400. They're frozen again. Oh, please tell me that a minute 29 is easier. If we die at 20 minute 29 and we just failed, then I have to do this another time. Yeah, they are the uh, brown balls, so you see them. So these other brown balls on the outside, they are not here, there you see them, the tiny ones. They are from Godai Shuffle. Okay, so they are the trainees. Uh, do you see them? Wait, where are they? There. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I, oh wow. Oh wow. I have to rely on freezes here. Please give me a freeze. I need a freeze. I need, no! The go the 38 seconds, come on, come on, come on. The curse is gone. We will not have curse any- We will have curse again, right, at the end. Oh, I need a heal. I need a heal. G g fireworks! Please! Please! Come on! Yeah! Okay, okay, okay. No, we will have one more curse. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, this is not good. It, it will be a, a seven second curse, but this will be enough to kill me. No! Okay, come on. I need a freeze here. No! We almost did it! Come on! No! 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 The curse is here! No! 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 Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, then give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe. See you the next time.